Hey there, what is up, Plant Community? If you like my videos, go ahead, give me a like, share, and subscribe. So, this is going to be a palm update video of pretty much all my palms for this month and how they are doing. So, this is the month of February. So, we're going to see how some of these guys are doing. This, of course, is not looking so good. Oh, we got a spear right there. Hell yeah. Gotta watch what I say, cuss word wise. I might get demonetized. I just got a bit too excited there. So, February. That's exciting. Still gotta separate you, though. You're just not enough room for your roots to expand, so... Got to figure out how to do that. Got to ask the person who gave me that to uh, tell me, basically, because I keep forgetting every time I go to the local nursery. Oh, we got some pups right there, so. Anywho, palm update, including psych hat update. So this guy's been inside for a while. The soil is kind of dry. I did put some palm fertilizer in it, and... You can see a little bit of damages on the new fronds, but uh, we got this guy coming in. We got a spear right in there. We got some dry tips right there, which that's okay. I'm going to be cutting all these dead fronds off when we're officially in the spring. Uh, I think we're only 40 days away until spring. Right now, we have the cold weather fighting the warm weather. Actually, tomorrow, it's going to be a bombing 60 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's going to be fantastic. And then here we have my trachycarpus. These, this pot actually froze, and I took it in, kind of protect it, um, because that's what I do, you know, I can't play them in the ground like I would like, but, uh, yeah, look at that. No spear pool, and that spear is so strong that it's it's ridiculous. I actually had somebody comment saying that I'm going to lose him and lose him and lose my lady finger because the pots froze. But Trachycarpus doesn't seem to skip a beat. This guy took some uh, damage to Livestonia chinansis. I did it. I remembered the name. I remembered the name because uh, he got some frost, but Fronds should hold on until he puts out some newer fronds. And we can see that in there. We can see some new fronds forming. I'll uh, put a little bit of fertilizer in there to kind of help him along. Not too much, but just enough to kind of shoot those spears out uh, to help him this winter. That's usually what I do. I don't usually do protection for my palms whatsoever. But when it comes to things like this... I got to do something because they're only hardy really to a zone nine and the soil froze. So I, I got to do a little something for him, kind of help him out, boost him up basically. But yeah, yeah, he'll, he'll pull through. Hopefully he does. If not, I'll just get a bigger one because I mean, at this point, why not? You know, I've had this guy for about five years. I don't think he's trunking anytime soon. We can see... Some fattening up down there, though. Speaking of trunking, the Majesty Palm. Look here, guys. Two inches of pure trunk. I think I am the first one. Now, don't hold me to this, but from what I've seen with a Majesty Palm trunking and good old... Indiana in my city because you don't usually see them trunking. You usually see them as annuals here and that's it because you gotta buy the fertilizer and not a lot of people have the money for that. So yeah, something really exotic there. Trunking. Uh, let this guy see 35 degrees Fahrenheit but lately he's been inside and uh, I'm not going to water him because we're going to be getting some rain. So he can just 
I might water him a little bit, actually, because I don't want the wind knocking him over, knocking out all that fertilizer and soil now that I think about it. Here we can see a bit of dry tips, too, but that's going to happen when you're keeping these guys indoors. A lot more humidity out here, sadly, than there is inside. Here we got my Dione Spinulosum. Looky there, looks like we're going to get some new growth for spring. That is fantastic. Love to see it. Dione Spinulosum. Yes. Got some old fronds there. I'll cut those off during spring, too. Uh, depends on how damaged they are, though. Like this guy, this guy's almost completely gone, so I'll probably go ahead and cut him off. But um, I actually had my other side cat out here. I actually took him in because I didn't want him dropping all of his fronds. Some of them are getting quite yellow. I wanted to produce some fronds before he uh, just decides to drop them all. Here we have my Cordyline Australis, also something else you don't normally see trunking here. Um, it's quite unusual to see them trunking, but here I am. I bought this guy when he was already a decent sized uh, specimen. So yeah, you see them get quite big, but you don't ever see them trunking, so I think I'm... I think I'm the only one who's done that. Oh no, maybe Indy Palms might want to try to zone push a uh, Cordy Line Australia's because, I mean, when they get big enough, you can cut them back like a Drycena, and they're usually uh, they're usually pretty good. They'll back bud during the summer. So, yeah, let's go to the back. All right, we are in the back now. We have a lot of my plants out here, and they're out here because we're going to be getting some bad storms. Um, so they're kind of staying in the back because of the wind. The wind will be really, really strong, but I don't even have my ladyfinger palm out here because I just repotted him. Well, no, my lay finger palm's over there. My bad. I don't have my bamboo palm out here because I just repotted him. And I don't want him to experience the wind yet because his root systems are still kind of rooting in there. Another update. I did lose my um, pygmy date palm. It's speared pulled. Um, they're just very hard to keep here. I, I don't know why. The soil just... Was it drying out fast enough? I even made sure it was airy. I'd, I'd like to try a big one, see how that does. But then again, I'm kind of worried because it's like, well, if a small one doesn't do good, I don't want to spend money on a big one and it just completely dies. Anyways, here is my lady finger palm. Also did not spear pull. Doing really well out here. I did go ahead and trim some of the dead. Uh, some of it still has some dead on there because it ain't looking too bad on the dead. But yeah, um, his soil froze too. But he's doing really good. He's doing really well. So he's another palm that's doing decent out here. Like I said, I would have my bamboo out here. But yeah, I don't want to... I don't want him out here yet until he gets rooted into the pot, which sucks because tomorrow it's going to be like 60 degrees. So, And not only that, I took it off some of the old dead uh, sheaths that kind of form around the trunk, and I think that is also what really helps it back here uh, with the cold. So, yeah, and normally he'd be where the lady finger palm is too, more protected. So, yeah, anyways, that's update of the palms. Another update I almost forgot to mention is, uh, ooh, that's crisp, is um, I'm going to be trying to get a dwarf coconut. Um, I, I asked my nursery if they could get them in. They said that, that they should be able to. You know, I, I told her that, you know, the dwarf coconuts would be good here because... Even though they get, you know, really big fronds, uh, the trunk 
you know, it slowly trunks unlike a normal coconut. And it just won't um, overtake. I mean, the fronds will clearly overtake, you know, if you don't have a big enough space for it. I'm going to try to build a big enough space for it. Um, I have an area with a grow light, and I'm going to try to keep the root system warm. It, but yeah, dwarf coconuts, they uh, slowly trunk, and they get the more mature fronds. This ain't a dwarf coconut, it's a majesty, but, you know, I'm using this as an example. Because, you know, the normal coconuts we did get here over at the local nursery, you know, they would trunk, but it wouldn't be anything, you know, woody. It, they would just get really tall and still have the baby leaves on them. Where with the dwarf coconuts, you get the more mature leaves sooner, which I think will be way more aesthetically pleasing here, and people will want them more than the normal coconut. So I think people will even be willing to pay a little bit more for them. So, yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, if she gets them in, I'll be getting one of those. I'm going to try my best to overwinter it because that's what I'm replacing the queen palm with. So hopefully I'll have this guy for, for many years. I'm going to be putting him right here where the queen was. And uh, I think I'm going to add some stuff to the soil to what they would naturally grow in. I think that would help too. I'm going to add some um, sand to the soil. I think that would definitely help with the um, coconut. Because, I mean, they like water, but they're used to growing in uh, sandy shorelines of things. So I think that would be, um, be helpful to the palm. Um, sorry about the kids in the background, too, by the way. I can't help that. Just gonna let them have their fun. But, yeah, anyways, that's pretty much the updates. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Have a good rest of the day.